Hello ladies and gentlemen, you are captain speaking on flight deck. My name is Captain Surinder Singh. Welcome aboard the plane talking. Sit back, relax and enjoy your journey. So, we have already seen QNH and QFE and QNE. Requi QNH is required the time of takeoff and landing because it gives us realistic obstruction clearance. If you take off with QFE, the problem is that all the obstructions they are given in elevation. Because if you set QFE, airport elevation, all the obstructions are given in elevation from mean sea level. So to get the realistic obstruction clearance, when you take off land or when you fly close to ground, your altimeter subscale should be set to QNH or altimeter setting. You want 1000 feet, whatever elevation plus 1000 feet. Okay, you want 500 feet clearance, whatever elevation plus 500 feet. But we have also seen if you are flying in the same airspace, you need to have one common reference setting which is QNE. It is neither pressure prevailing at mean sea level nor at an aerodrome. This is given by ICA 1013.25 or 29.92. So, somewhere after takeoff, you have to change over to standard setting. Okay, so when you fly on an airways or on the cruise, everything is flight level. Similarly, let's say I am going and descending to some airport. I go to Mumbai. So, somewhere you have to change over to Mumbai QNH. So, that is we have altimeter setting procedure including RT when you study this is important people have general idea exactly is a problem so we will see what is the actual altimeter setting procedure so from wherever you are taking off we always take off on QNH that is reference of mean sea level from mean sea level that is what is QNH and as long as you are flying close to obstructions or terrain you have to maintain this that also is there is no doubt in this. So once you are clear of highest obstruction for that aerodrome you change over to standard setting at a place which is called transition altitude transition means what you are in transit you are in changing this transition altitude is given in airport chart or Jepson charts transition altitude how it is calculated based on the obstruction higher the obstruction higher will be the transition altitude if there is no obstruction in India the lowest transition altitude is 4000 feet. If there is no obstruction around, the minimum transition altitude in India is 4000 feet. You go to Europe, you fly in uh, uh, UK, there it is 3000 feet, the lowest transition altitude. If there is no obstruction, obviously if the obstruction go higher, this transition altitude will change. Okay, you will find here it is it in transition altitude. If there this transition altitude is given. This is absolutely based on obstruction. Okay. Okay. Which is this airport? Bangalore. How much is transition altitude? 7000 feet. This is up to 7000 feet. You have to maintain QNH. At 7000 feet, you will change over to standard setting. And that's which is this place? Okay, Cochin is in How Afghanistan. Can you see all those obstruction around? They are very high obstructions. The elevation is very high. So, till 11,000 feet you have to maintain QNH. So, if you take off from Cochin, as you are crossing 11,000, passing transition, set standard. All of if there is no obstruction, in India it is 
4000 the only variation in the world you will find in uh, canada and canada and us in us they maintain they don't call it qnh they call it altimeter setting so till flight level 180 or 18000 feet you maintain qnh or altimeter setting that is obviously there will be no obstacle in your entire us above 18000 feet so as you are passing through transition you change over to standard setting that is q n e 1013.25 so normally we refer it as standard in all similarly now you fly every aircraft when it is clear when you are flying on airways every aircraft is flying on the standard setting of q n e and whatever you are seeing it is referred as flight level it is very clear if you have set qnh it is altitude if you have set uh, qne standard then it is flight level so during climb you change over to okay now let's say i go to any airport you will take the it is or you will take the weather so somewhere you have to change over to the QNH of as you are descending. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to WFT's phone Any aircraft which is coming into Delhi, he is maintaining what? Standard setting, flight level. So, somewhere he has to change to Delhi QNH. Now, as you are descending, you have to change over to local QNH, and that is what you take the weather for. Now, where to change over? So, something ATIS gives you. If there is no ATIS, ATC will tell you descend to 4000 feet, transition level. 65 abhi it is as you are descending through transition level you will change over to qnh pack okay so at transition level we change over to qnh of that place and now you will land on qnh so transition altitude is published on the chart depending upon the obstruction you saw Chennai 4000 Cochin was uh, 11,000 um, Bangalore was 7,000 or this space between transition altitude and transition level is referred as this is referred as transition layer now this transition layer could be 1000 feet or could be 1500 feet. Uh, just for your no. knowledge, any time your QNH is more than standard, how much is standard? 1013.25. So any time, okay. So when your QNH is more than standard, then this transition layer is of 1000 feet. Otherwise, it is 1500 feet. So, just for example, De Delhi transition altitude is 5000 feet, transition level is 6.5 and how much is this layer? 1500. So, it could be 1000 to or 1000 to either it will be 1000 feet or it will be 1500 feet. That depends like I told you any time if you are QNH is more than standard. Why? We will not go into those calculations. But anytime, like 1012, 1011, everything is less than standard setting, that time it is 1500 feet. Again, the maximum question. thickness of transition layer could be 1500 feet. Clear on this? So, as you are descending, passing this, now whether it is 1000 feet above this or 1500, that is given by 
ATC again. So just to show you, transition altitude is always calculated based on the obstruction. Now transition level, whether it will be 1,000 feet higher or 1,500 feet higher, that is given by ATC. You there is a chart for Bangalore. Transition altitude 7,000 feet. Transition level by ATC. So you take off from some, once you are clear of uh, highest obstruction, basically transition altitude, you change over to standard setting. You are flying all the aircraft from wherever they are taking off, they need a standard setting, that is QNE &E standard, that's what they maintain and whatever you see in your altimeter, it is reported as flight level. Now as you descend for any airport, a transition level which is given by ATC, you change over to the local QNH or altimeter setting. Transition layer where you are making changes whether from standard to QNH or QNH to standard that is called transition layer. It could be 1000 feet or it could be 1500 feet. That, that is given by ATC when he clears you for descent or in the ATS. Now we have a question. Okay, let's say while Passing, climbing through transition layer, altimeter indication will be reported as. This is the question. Anyone? When you are, how many say flight level? Altitude? Better, I have asked flight level, you are doing ball. Okay, another question on this. While descending through the transition layer, altimeter indication will be reported as. It's very simple, don't get confused. After you take off, when you change over that. From a transition altitude, what you have selected? Standard. When you set standard, what altimeter indications are referred as? Flight level, so simple. Similarly, when you are descending, when you have changed over? Transition level. So at transition level now, what is your setting? Altitude. It all depends what is your subscale reference. While, While climbing, climbing, you have change over here, standard, flight level. When you change over here, you have change over to. While descending through transition level, you have change over to QNH. So everything will be reported as altitude. Transition altitude, everything is altitude below this. Here, everything is flight level. Okay, we will see this again when we start regulation next week. That time uh, we will see the, the lowest transition altitude in India is 4000 feet. The lowest flight level available is 50 because layer can be just 1000 feet above. So please copy this. See you after the break. This is your captain speaking.